at the man with the tilt and leading the city, I have brought in hundreds of businesses across the last three decades. Because a business comes to your town for one reason, to make money. They don't come here because you're their buddy or they like the way you look. They come here to make money. And what we've done in Goose Creek, starting off with a blank slate, if we put in those water and sewer lines, we put in those roads, we made the neighborhood safe, we made the place attractive to live, we brought the customers nearby, and I brought in hundreds and hundreds of businesses. And if you reelect me, I'm going to bring in more. But I'm not going to be out there trying to introduce myself to Mr. Appleby, because that's a waste of time. Mr. Appleby knows where I am. Mr. Longhorn Steer or those other restaurants I hear people talk about, they know where Goose Creek is. They know what the median income is. They know how many cars drive by their potential places of business. They know all those facts as well as I do or maybe better. And they'll come here when we're ready. You lay down the, the physical infrastructure, the pipes and the conduit, and also the non-physical infrastructure, the zoning, the building regulation, the uh, personnel policies, all the things that make the police department work, that make the fire department work, that's where they'll put a business, a business that they, where they can trust the environment. That's where they're going to invest. And I'll wrap up by saying, your city council is progressive, and it will continue to be progressive. We just spent over $5 million streetscaping and preparing the old downtown Goose Creek as an incubator for new businesses. So whoever, whoever the new mayor is, or the old mayor, you're going to have businesses growing there The time is ready. And the land has been prepared and the infrastructure is in place. Businesses are coming. And whoever the mayor is, and even if you don't have either one of us, the business is going to come whether you like it or not. Now when it comes to preserving the, the present, I think I've done a pretty good job there too. And I think what a mayor should do when it comes to preserving the present is, uh, of course, the balanced budget. And, but you've got to have all this, the infrastructure in place, like the ordinances, the laws, all the pipes, all the water and the sewer and the conduits that you need. And after all that's done, Goose Creek has emerged. And some of you know how far we have emerged. Some of you folks that have been around for decades know how amazing it is that Goose Creek is now the best place in South Carolina to raise children. That's just stunning to old Goose Creekers. And not only are we the best place in South Carolina to raise children, but we haven't raised property taxes in 35 years. And we're not going to raise property taxes anytime in the future. Uh, maybe I'll have an opportunity to talk a little bit more about finance because my numbers are different than what I just heard. And then uh, I, I think that that's a pretty good I don't think there's a higher accolade than the best place to raise a I think you can be bigger, you can be richer, you can be more progressive, you can be more exciting, but it's the best place to raise a family. And not raise taxes in 35 years. That's some sort of a record, I think, in the state, too. And then plan for progress. In 1981, being I was a behavioral science kind of guy, I brought Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory to Goose Creek City Council and said, folks, we need a strategic plan based on the prevailing needs of our citizens. We wrote a plan at that time, which is fluid. It changes every year. We have a vision. We have a mission statement. Every two weeks, I go over the annual goals with a different neighborhood. That's where I was tonight before I came here. And it shapes the future for our city so that there's no surprises. We have one year. We have five-year, and we have 20-year goals. The one-year goals are identical with my platform running for re-election. The one-year goals has to do with improving roads, improving the economics, downtown, developing a downtown Hughes Creek, which is underway, improving the golf course, hiker biker trails, I think that's four of them, and I forgot what the other ones are. But if you were standing up here, you'd probably forget some things, too. But there's 12 items that we're working on this year. Though that is my platform, and that's what I'm running on. And that is a progressive and an op optimistic and a magnificent future that we can look towards. 